Hello there my friends and welcome back to the Scott Re project and today we are going to be doing something super seasonal, super quick and super tasty. We are going to make a quite decadent chicken and asparagus pie. Now the reason I chose to do asparagus, these fantastic spears here, is we are slap bang in the middle of asparagus season. In England it runs from St George's Day in April, lasts about six to eight weeks but it is an absolutely stunning, stunning veg, and we grow the finest in the world. It's so good, it even has its own festival, only in England, eh? But just look at these fantastic spears. And, you know, I love the, the veg. It's got a fantastic flavour. It's tender. If it had one downfall, it makes your pee-pee smell a bit weird. But hey-ho, we can deal with that. But like Marcel Proust, the French novelist, once said, to quote him, asparagus, it transforms my chamber pot into a flask of perfume. Only a Frenchman could get away with that. Anywho, first thing we're going to do then, we're going to get our chicken on, but I just want to show you how to prepare. Asparagus couldn't be easier. Grab your spear. Snap. That's the woody end. That's the bit we use. And that's where you find your tender stem. It couldn't be easier. They all do the same. Just bend it and they have all got a natural breaking point, just like that. So I shall carry on snapping these bad boys in half. Then we're going to get on, cut our chicken into little cubes and start browning it in the pan. So as you can see then, they're all beautifully prepared. What we need to do next then, I just want to spin around these ingredients. What we've got is three fantastic free range chicken breasts. They weigh about a pound and a quarter. I'm going to use 200 ml of double cream, 200 ml of chicken stock, and that's just some flour to thicken the sauce. And I may go mad, a bit more luxury, and add some fantastic bacon in there as well. So, as you can see, not a lot of ingredients, but that's the way to get the beautiful, clean flavours of the chicken and asparagus. So, what we need to do is to cut these into bite-sized chunks. So just simple as, square them off, cut them through, and that's what we're looking for. And I don't think you need to see me do all these, so I shall cut through these, and then we'll get the camera on the stove and just start to gently brown these beautiful chicken breasts. Like I said though, you know, seriously, we have our own festival, a Sparrow Fest. I know it's hard to believe, but you know, they come from all over the world into Eversham to eat and celebrate this fantastic seasonal goodie. So all we're going to do then is just gently add a bit of colour to our chicken. So in a frying pan, add a spot of oil and you know the drill. Once it's up to frying speed, you want to place them around the pan in a clock-like fashion. And that way it allows us to know which ones we put in first. So basically you turn, 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 and they will all brown together. Plus, you'll notice I'm not putting too many in the pan. I don't want to take the heat out. We you take the heat out, you won't get that lovely sizzling noise. You'll start to poach it and you won't get a caramelization. I almost sound like I know what I'm doing. Anywho, I shall get those in. As you can see, that's about half of it. And just fry them off for about three or four minutes a side, or until they've got a good color on them. So doing it that method then, like I said, in a clock fashion, at the top 12 o'clock, you should be able to turn them over and just go round they should all pretty much be uniformly browning. Great trick. Just go to that last one just to show you it works. How good's that? So like I said at the start then, I am going to add a little bit of bacon to it as if it wasn't good enough as it was. I'm using a fantastic bacon chop. Just cut these a little bit smaller then you'll have those lovely big chunks of chicken, those lovely cut spears of asparagus, and these lovely 
nuggets of bacon. What's not to like? Real food for real people. So that's my first batch cooked. So repeat with your second lot of chicken. And then we will do the same with the bacon. So as you can see, our pan's smoking. Just get our bacon in. These can go in anyhow, because we can move these about. Get a nice caramelization onto these as well. And if you need to there, just add a little spot of oil. And all those lovely burnt bits on the bottom from the chicken. Remember, that is all flavor. We'll be scraping that off the bottom and that will be going into the sauce. So the same as the chicken. Get a bit of color and let those release their natural oils. Just take a look at that. Is there any sight finer than bacon sizzling away in a pan? And the smell is fantastic. So my bacon is nearly done. As you can see, I'm just going to tip it into my bowl for now. And I'm just going to take the heat out of that pan and I'm going to add a knob of butter. And what we want to do is just watch that so it doesn't burn. So you can always take it off the heat, get that melt in. And what we're going to be doing is we want to start scraping up these bits off the bottom. But we're going to make a basic roux. So into our butter, a tablespoon of flour. We just want to incorporate it, not being too fussy. Cook that out for a few minutes. And as you can see, it's lifted up all those beautiful caramelized juices from the chicken and the bacon already. So we're already onto a winner. So into that then, I'm going to add my 200 ml of chicken stock. Incorporate it all in, let that flour cook out a bit, and on a low heat to that 200 ml of double cream, just look at that. I said it was going to be decadent, so we will just mix that in. Beautiful, beautiful. Once we've incorporated that, I mean, by all means. Do this in a casserole dish. I've done it in a pan just to show you guys. In with our chicken. And in with our bacon and all the rest and juices. Looking good so far. While that's gently bubbling away then, our asparagus, cut it into about an inch long pieces. And you notice I haven't blanch this because I want to retain that bite obviously it's going to cook in the oven anyway so it's going to be fantastic but nice look at that prime asparagus baby and then we will add this to our pie mix season it and then get our puff pastry lid ready Right, I've got my fantastic asparagus chopped. Now it's time to add it to this fantastic mix. fantastic and that little bit of flour in with our stock and our cream is thickened it to the perfect consistency but look at the colors in there man all we need then is to season it with some pepper and some salt get the salt in and one little extra touch chicken's favorite herb just a bit of dried tarragon but as you can see how good does that look as it is hey we're on to a winner here so I'm just gonna give that a taste then you know the rule taste taste and taste 
see how that seasoning is. Oh man, I am not joking. Oh yeah. Genius. Right, let's do that pastry lid. Because the quicker we get this in the oven, the quicker we can get it into our mouths. Right then, to that fantastic puff pastry lid. Do yourself a favour, go to the shop, buy that. Life really is too short to be making your own puff pastry. Believe me, a lot of you know, I have said this before, this stuff is so good. You know, it's such a top product. It can't be beaten really. So that's up to room temperature. So basically what I'm gonna do, get that over there. Get some flour on the surface. Get some flour on my rolling pin. And just start fashioning a lid for my chosen receptacle. Now, I'm going to be using that, so we want it just a little bit bigger than that. We're not going to do anything posh, we're just going to tuck it in. Like I said, real food for real people, keep it simple, that's what it's all about. Dishes that are doable, you know, when you haven't got a lot of time. And this, you know, I've said before, you get halfway through a dish and you just know going to be something special so my filling then has just been on the hob getting to know each other but have a look at that hey let's just get it in there stunning stunning pie filling so we're just making sure it's evenly distributed then and just get our lid couldn't be easier get it on just tuck it in Simple as. Now you can fold them in any way you want. Rustic. Be a bit of your pie crust and that. Is pretty much it. Apart from an egg wash. By all means, if you want to take a bit more time and a bit more care putting your pastry on, but this is a rustic pie, you know, it's gonna come out amazing. So just a little bit of beaten egg, an egg wash. And then I've preheated my oven to gas mark six, if you look up there for the conversion. And we're gonna cook it for 25 to 30 minutes to start with, to see how the pastry is doing. See if it's got nice and brown. And then we can judge it from there. But I reckon 30, 40 minutes all in and you're done I reckon about an hour this dish from start to finish you know when what you're getting is a fantastic dinner dish right the obligatory hole in the middle you can put patterns on write anything on it you want I'm gonna keep it real I'm gonna get it in the oven and we will check on it in 20 minutes easy Okay then, my pie has been in for 30 minutes. Time for the big reveal. What do you think of that then? What a fantastic looking pie. Look how that's all puffed up nicely. I'm just gonna let that cool. We'll cut into it. We'll have a look at it, have a taste. It would be rude not to. Check it out. It's almost a shame to break into this, but let's do it. Have a look at that. Oh man. Just get a little bit of that sauce at the bottom. Let's do it. Just have a look at that. Those lovely chunks of chicken, the bacon, the asparagus, the sauce, the puff pastry. It's a dirty job, my friends, but someone's got to do it. So let's have a go have a bit of everything some asparagus 
that lovely bacon. Would you like to have a taste? Go on. I'll tell you what. You can see, man, that is awesome. That is absolutely stunning, stunning. Oh, man, more. Let's have some more of this. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's just a killer combination. The chicken is cooked to absolute perfection. Right, I'm going to have one more mouthful and then I'm going to sum this up. Right, here we go. Let's do it. What can I say about that? Just an absolutely fantastic pie. And please, guys, have a go at this. Go and get yourself some asparagus, English if you can, and just give it a go. You've seen how it works. It took about 30 minutes to prepare, 30 minutes to cook, and you have got a seriously, seriously great dish there. Absolutely amazing. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed Project, please subscribe to the channel. I've had a load of new subscribers recently. It's nice to have you on board. Also, like it and share it with your friends. Find me on Facebook and on Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. And if you have any questions, you know, through uh, Facebook Messenger, leave them there and I will get back to you. But most of all, I want you to have a go at this. It's absolutely amazing. Right, I'm going to neck this last little bit and I'm going to see if I can transform my chamber pot into a flask of perfume. Very nice. See you again. Take care. Right, I'm having that.